Let's begin with definition. Anatomy is the study of structure, shape of the body and its parts and their relation to one another. While physiology is the study of function of the structure as we said before. So, anatomy and physiology are divided into different branches. Some of the branches of anatomy are embryology, development biology, cell biology, histology, cross anatomy, systemic anatomy, regional anatomy, surface anatomy and so on. Branches of physiology include molecular physiology, neurophysiology where we focus on the physiology of brain, cardiovascular physiology we focus on the heart, respiratory physiology as the word says it focuses on the lungs. Renal physiology focuses on the kidney and there are so many more branches to the physiology. Next we look at level of structural organization. The simplest level of the structural ladder is chemical level. At this level atom tiny building blocks of matter combines to form molecules such as water, sugar and proteins. Then molecules in turn associate in special ways to form microscopic cell, the smallest unit of all living things. Which brings us to the level number two, which is cellular level. So the level of structural organization starts from the chemical level. Chemical level is number one or the smallest or the first step to the ladder. And then we move on to the cellular level where we know that cells are made up of molecules. All cells have some common structures and function but individual cells vary in size, shape and their particular role in the body. Some creatures which have single cell are the simple living creatures. Complex organisms such as human beings have different types of cell or they are multicellular. This brings us to the third level of the structural ladder, so which is tissue level. Tissue consists of group of similar cells that have a common function. There are four basic types of tissue and each plays a definite but different role in the body. From the tissue level, we move on to the next organ level. An organ is a structure composed of two or more tissue types that performs a specific function for the body. At the organ level of organization, extremely complex functions become possible. For example, small intestine which digest and absorb food is composed of all four tissue types. Next level is organ system level. 
An organ system is a group of organ that works together to accomplish a common purpose. For example, heart and blood vessels of the cardiovascular system circulates blood continually to carry nutrition and oxygen to the body cells. There are 11 organ systems which make up the living human being. These all levels combine to form an organism which represents the highest level of structural organization, the organismal level. Organismal level is the sum total of all structural level working together to keep us alive. So the level of structural organization starts from the chemical level, then move on to cellular level, then tissue, organ, organ system and lastly organism level as we said before that there are 11 organ systems which makes up an organism or an organism contain 11 organ systems which are nervous system immune system digestive system cardiovascular system integumentary system respiratory endocrine reprodu reproductive system excretory and musculoskeletal system so we are going to discuss each one of them starting with integumentary system it forms the external body covering which protects deeper tissue from injury synthesizes vitamin D location of sensory receptors such as pain receptor pressure receptor etc are present here and sweat and oil glands are also found in integumentary system. It waterproofs the body and cushions and protects the deeper tissue from injury. Sensory receptors located in the skin alerts us to what is happening at the body surface. So some of the parts of integumentary system are skin, fingernails and hair. Next is skeletal system. Skeletal system protects and support body organs. It consists of cartilages, joints and bones. So it supports the body and provides a framework that skeletal muscles use to cause movement. It also has protective function. For example, skull encloses and protects brains and cavities of the skeleton are the sites where blood cells are formed. The hard substance of the bones act as the storehouse of minerals. So the next level is muscular system. Muscles of the body have only one function, to contract. Contract means to shorten. When this happens, movement occurs. The mobility of the body as a whole reflects the activity of skeletal muscles, the large fleshy muscles attached to the bones. When these contract, you are able to stand erect, walk, jump, grasp, throw a ball or smile. The skeletal muscles form the muscular system. These muscles are distinct from muscles of the heart and other hollow organs which move fluids such as blood or urine or other substances such as food along definite pathway within the body. So the muscular system allows manipulation of environment, allows locomotion, facial expression, maintain po uh, posture and produces heat. Another type of system in the body is nervous system, which is fast acting control system of the body responds to internal and external changes by activating appropriate muscles and gland. It consists of brain and spinal cord, sensory receptors and nerves. So the sensory receptor detects changes in temperature, pressure or light and send messages to the central nervous system which is brain and spinal cord so that it is constantly informed about what is going on in the environment. The central nervous system then assesses this information and responds by activating the appropriate body effectors such as muscles or glands which are organ that produces secretions.
Like nervous system, endocrine system also controls body activities, but it acts much more slowly compared to the nervous system. Endocrine gland produces chemical molecules called hormones and release them into blood to travel to relatively distant target organ. These glands include pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenal, thymus, pancreas, or pineal ovaries and testes these are all the glands in the body the endocrine glands are not connected anatomically in same way that the parts of the other organ systems are what they have in common is that they all secrete hormones which regulates other structures the body function controlled by the hormones are many and varied involving every cell in the body growth reproduction and the use of nutrients by the cell are all controlled by the hormones so the function of endocrine system is gland secretes hormone that regulates process such as growth reproduction and nutrient by the use of body cells cardiovascular system primary organ of cardiovascular systems are heart and blood vessels using blood as a carrier and cardiovascular system delivers oxygen nutrients hormones and other substance to and pick up waste such as oxygen uh, carbon dioxide from cells near site of exchange white blood cells and chemicals in blood helps to protect body from such foreign invaders as bacteria viruses and tumor cells the heart propels blood out of its chamber into blood vessels to be transported to all body tissues so the function of the cardiovascular system in short is blood vessels transport blood which carries oxygen nutrient hormone carbon dioxide and waste and heart pumps blood cardiovascular system consists of two things hearts and blood vessels lymphatic system consist of lymph nodes and lymphatic vessels the role of the lymphatic system complements that of cardiovascular system it organs includes lymphatic vessels lymph nodes lymphoid organs such as spleen and tonsils when fluid is leaked into tissues from blood lymphatic vessels return it to the blood stream so that there is enough blood to continuously circulate through the body the lymph nodes and other lymphoid organs helps to clean blood and house white blood cells involved in the immunity respiratory system the job of the respiratory system is to keep the body supplied with oxygen and to remove carbon dioxide respiratory system consists of nasal passages pharynx larynx trachea bronchi and lungs within lungs are tiny air sacs gases are exchanged with blood through the thin walls of these air sacs next is digestive system digestive system is basically a tube running through the body from mouth to anus the organ of the digestive system includes oral cavity or mouth esophagus stomach small and large intestine and rectum plus a number of accessory organs which are liver salivary glands pancreas and other organs their role is to break down food and deliver resulting nutrients to the blood for dispersal to the body cell urinary system Urinary system removes the nitrogen containing waste from blood and flushes them from the body in urine. This system is often called excretory system which is commonly composed of kind kidney, ureters, bladders and urethra. Other important function of this system includes maintaining of body's water and salt balance. which is also called electrolyte balance regulating the acid base balance of the blood and helping to regulate normal blood pressure last is reproductive system 
male have their own reproductive system and female have their own reproductive system so that's why we say male reproductive system and female reproductive system the role of this system is to produce offspring male testes produce sperm other male reproductive system structures are scrotum penis accessory glands and the duct system which carries sperm to the outside of the body female ovaries produce eggs or ova the female duct system consists of the uterine tube uterus and vagina the uterus provide the site of development of the fetus immature infant we say once fertilization has occurred now that we have studied different level of structural organization we have looked at organ systems we know the difference between anatomy and physiology let's test our knowledge so the question number one is why would you have a hard time learning and understanding physiology if you did not understand anatomy so the answer would be anatomy and physiology are related a given function can occur only if the corresponding structure allows it next question states kidney function bone growth and beating of heart are all the topics of anatomy is it true or false of course false they all are they are all the topics of physiology next question at which level of structural organization is stomach at which level is a glucose molecule the stomach exhibits the organ level of the structural organization and glucose as we predicted is at the chemical level which organ system includes trachea lungs nasal cavity and bronchi these are all organs of respiratory system very good the last question which system functions to remove waste and help regulate blood pressure urinary system the urinary system rids the body and waste a body of waste and help regulates the blood pressure Thank you for watching. This was all for today's lecture. In the next lesson, we are going to discuss maintaining life and language of anatomy, which is also from the chapter number one of Essentials of Human Anatomy and Physiology by Marie.